Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Rail Vacation 101 webinar on the routes, accommodations, and services with rail bookers. I am your host and train conductor, Tyler Wallinger, and I have an exciting presentation for you all today, and we'll cover so much a lot about the destinations, where we'll be traveling to today, the important things you need to know by traveling by train are, uh, routing your va rail vacation from, you know, closest to your hometown, or how a rail booker is able to provide a safe environment during this time. So let's get started, everyone. One. So welcome aboard. And for those of you uh, who've never joined our webinar before, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us for the first time. And if you don't mind sharing with me, every one of you who are joining on today, where you all are joining from in the questions box. If you don't mind typing out where you're from, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, sorry to mention Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much. Ohio, great. Columbia, South Carolina. Thank you. Great. Texas, wonderful, great. Keep them coming, folks. Saskatoon, too. Oh, wow, we have people from outside of the U.S. Great. Kansas City, wonderful. Keep them coming, folks. So I'd love to know where all you are joining from today. So if you don't mind typing in the questions box there, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, we have some people from Oklahoma. Got some people from, from Colorado. Wow, great. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I greatly do appreciate that. So as you're continuing to pour in your answers, I just want to share about our two dis distinct uh, Yankee Leisure Group brands. So to our left is Amtrak Vacations. Now, Amtrak Vacations, of course, is you know our domestic brand, which, of course, uh, people want to travel to the national parks or those popular city destinations, such as New York City, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Seattle. You name it, of course, we move them there by train. And not only just by train, but also have them stay in the hotel accommodations, uh, sightseeing tours, transfers, ferries, rental cars. Basically, package everything together so that you have the perfect dream vacation. Amtrak actually moves over 3 million passengers each year in its rail system. There's over 500 plus stations for uh, clients to be able to travel from and to. And also be aware that there's over 30 plus routes that Amtrak actually offers where you can upgrade to those private sleeping accommodations. And the biggest that we're seeing right now, the, the main, the, the, I guess the largest amount of vacation packages that we're seeing with Amtrak vacations currently is to the national parks, such as Glacier, Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, uh, Yosemite National Park, to name a few. And then to our right, which is what we'll really be focusing today, is my favorite brand of all, is Railbookers. Now, Railbookers is our international brand, very similar to Amtrak Vacations, but on a global scale, where we service destinations such as Alaska, Canada, Europe, Asia, Africa, and beyond. Everything from those scenic trains like the Glacier and the Bernina Express, to those luxury trains like the Venice Simplon Orient Express, the Royal Scotsman, even the Trans-Siberian Golden Eagle Express, and many great other trains as well, which we'll talk a little bit more about today. And we also have some digital brochures that are, are, are uh, new to uh, new to us now, which is give you our cruise extension. So if you have, uh, if any of you have any pre or post uh, cruise extension ideas, definitely take a look at our Rail Bookers digital brochure. We have a lot of options to choose from. And if you do have uh, a cruise credit, why not be able to, you know, start planning for that and also add on that cruise extension with Rail Bookers. Uh, luxury Rail Journey. So that's going to be another, uh, um, you know, brochure that we just are launching right now. And this is actually one of my favorite because I love talking about luxury trains. Uh, this one actually is going to feature a lot of luxury rail journeys like with the Venice Simplon Orient Express, the Royal Scotsman, the Eastern and Oriental Express, the Trans-Siberian, and so many other luxury trains as well. And then, of course, our uh, updated worldwide independent vacations with rail bookers for 21 into 2022. And all of our vacation packages, folks, can be booked as early as today up until 2023. And you can always find us out also on our website at www.railbookers.com. This is where you can find out all of our destinations, vacation types, where to start planning, maybe specific deals that are going on where you can be able to help save some money for your next dream vacation. And folks, we have direct rail partnerships worldwide. That's what makes Railbookers so special is that we can book all of our vacation packages, including the rail, up to 24 months in advance. And that's due to our rail partnerships with, for example, with Trenitalia, Deutsche Bahn, Via Rail, Eurostar. Our Amtrak, Norwegian Rail, uh, Rent Fee, and so many great other rail op providers along the way. So why do travelers love rail bookers? Well, number one, of course, we are the rail experts. So we know these we know these trains forwards and backwards, and we like to, of course, keep people on track, right? No pun intended. <laughs> from the best routes to the best times, ensuring you have the best vacation. We can book our travel from earliest as today up to 2023. So again, we can make our packages as far out in advance as you'd like us to book it for. 
we got you covered. We offer maximum flexibility. This is the beautiful thing about Rail Bookers is that we offer the maximum flexibility to choose any destination, any day, any length of time. Simply put, if the train goes there, so do we. We have a lot. We actually are, have the largest uh, rail vacation selections from luxury trains, multi-country journeys, cruise extensions. Even we can customize any of our rail vacation packages. We have it all, and no rail trip is complicated for us. So where most people think rail travel is confusing, for us it's very simple. Oh, and we also have a 24-hour support staff here from all of our global offices. We have offices within Laguna Hills, California, Toronto, Canada, Beverly, Massachusetts, London, UK, even down south to Sydney, Australia. We have a worldwide support staff, again, helping you plan your dream vacation and even help booking your dream vacation as well as making sure your dream vacation is off on a hitch. Now, what does it mean to customize the trip? So I just talked about just a moment ago, folks, that we can customize our rail vacation packages, right? So what I mean by that is that we can add on any destination. Uh, we can make it a round trip journey. So if they want to start, uh, you know, from, for example, from Paris and going back to Paris, no problem. We can make a trip in reverse. So if you see a package like, hey, I want to do this trip, let's just flip it in reverse. We could definitely consider that and also do it as, as that do it as well. Uh, we could also upgrade from standard class to first class rail. We can add on sightseeing tours or upgrade to those private tours. More so than ever, folks, right now people are looking to do those private tours. They're spending a little bit more money. They want more of that, you know, personalized attention, and they want to be able to really get the best and the, the you know the the, the 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 most amount of time with their private guide. And folks, we also have a plethora of hotel options to choose from, such as three, four, and five-star hotels. And you can actually fluctuate them within the same trip. So let's say maybe one hotel you want to stay at a five-star. Uh, let's say you want to stay at the Lake, uh, you know, Lakes um, uh, Schweizerhof in uh, in, in um, Lake Lucerne. We could definitely do that. And maybe you want to stay at a um, at the Butterfly in Zermatt. Again, there's so many options you can choose from, and it doesn't have to be all the same category. So why book now? Well, we offer our maximum flexibility offer for customers to, uh, to be able to book with confidence and any new reservation that's made between now and June 30th of this year, they can make any change or they can even cancel their vacation without incurring any change or penalty fee to them. So that's a beautiful offer right now, folks, that we can be able to book with confidence. And if you need to make any changes or modifications, you can be able to do that with our maximum flexibility offer. But this offer is only valid between now and June 30th of this year. So again, that's a huge offer. Um, I'm going to give you a personal personal example of my uh, of that's happened to me recently, folks. Is you know I had to deal with some situations with my airlines, and they're not offering me any maximum flexibility at all. They're only giving me a certain time period to use my airline credit, which is unfortunate because it's like if I wanted to plan another vacation or maybe I don't want to go to the next destination, it's I'm stuck with what that credit offers me. We don't offer that, folks. We offer that maximum flexibility to choose where you want to go, how you want to go, and, of course, when you want to go, right? It's up to you to choose where you want to be able to use your credit. Pick your perk. So right now, folks, we also have the opportunity for you to pick your perk. You can upgrade your rail vacation with us to upgrading those train tickets. Let's say your package starts with uh, the standard class rail. You can upgrade to first class or maybe excellence class on the Glacier Express. You can upgrade your hotel from a four to a five star or three to four. You can go upgrade your room hotel category. Let's say you have a standard room, but maybe you want to upgrade with a room with a view, like maybe a view of the canal or a view with the lake. You can extend your stay. So if let's say, hey, you know, I want to extend, use my credit to extend an extra night or two at this destination, why not? We can even add on additional activities for you of your choosing to make the most of your dream vacation. And we make Europe Brian Rail Travel Made easy. So did you know, folks, that there's actually five different ways for you to travel from London to Venice? The only way you would know that is, of course, if you were a rail, if you, you know, study these rail systems backwards and forwards like us. So that's where we come into play is because we know these rail systems. We know these rail operators because some of them don't even talk to one another. That's why people use us because they want to be able to go to multiple countries, such as going from London to Paris and then Paris to Barcelona. Or let's say they want to go from London to uh, Switzerland and they want to go to Zurich and then they want to go down and do the Glacier and the Bernina Express. But then they want to add on Italy, like Lake Como, and Lake Maggiore and then end in Milan. We have so many great packages where we can customize and we know these rail systems and operators and giving you the best rail routes to make it a scenic journey. So how are rail operators maintain a safe environment during this time? Well, I'm gonna tell you that. Number one, 
you, they are requiring facial coverings in the stations on the trains for both passengers and staff. So they are requiring those masks at this time. They are stopping the sale of food and drink on board many European trains. So just be aware of that. But that's OK, because here's the thing that I always share with my with customers is that instead of actually purchasing meals on board the train, why not bring your own little picnic? You know, you can bring on, you know, um, when I when I went to from Paris to Zurich, I actually packed on my own little picnic. I got, uh, you know, a, a turkey and Swiss cheese sandwich. I got uh, a couple pieces of fruit. I also even brought my own bottle of wine on board the train. I just had a nice little picnic as I enjoyed the scenery. So, again, you could be able to do that as well. Changing the seat configuration and allocation on board the train for allowing for social distancing. They've increased the cleaning and sanitation at the stations and on board the trains, and they're going contactless with control uh, through emails and on board uh, and online apps. So instead of actually having physical copy tickets, you can be able to have it all downloaded on your mobile device to better them to scan and check out. Now, folks, today the first package or our first virtual destination that we have on our, our rail journey today is going to be Alaska by rail. So this one is going to be our Denali National Park and the Arctic Circle with Alaska Railroad. This is a new package, folks, that we actually just launched earlier this year. Uh, this is going to be allowing you to be able to see not only Denali National Park, but even get to get up close to the Arctic Circle. So this includes sightseeing tours of Anchorage, Denali National Park, and also the Arctic Circle, and a one-way journey on board Alaska Railroad in Adventure class from Anchorage to Denali and then Denali to Fairbanks. So again, this is a great option for you folks if you're looking to do that package. It does also include the train experience as you're going up to Fairbanks. Again, you're taking the full uh, Denali Star route from Anchorage to Denali and then up to Fairbanks. So again, your package starts with us in Anchorage. So again, it's an easy airport to fly into and then Fairbanks will be the other airport you'll be flying out of. So again, you start with us in Anchorage and you will also have you do the trolley tour where you can be able to explore the city and also get to be able to check out this just this majestic backdrop. And then you'll board the Alaska Road in Adventure Class. Now, Adventure Class, as you can see here, it's very comfortable leather seats that do fold down to about a 45 degree angle, large picturistic windows. You also have space for your overhead luggage. Uh, you even, of course, have the opportunity for you to kind of roam around throughout the train and enjoy what this train has to offer, including the Vista Dome Car, which offers a 360 degree view dome car experience. Now, that's where mainly the, all of the action's at, is actually in the Vista Dome car, so people are checking out that 360-degree views. And there's also a guide on the train that will talk about uh, the, the culture, the history, the route itself, even though they'll spot out local wildlife for you, so you get the ultimate experience on the train. So again, definitely look at these amazing views, as you can see here, folks. It's like going to Switzerland, but of course, right here in our own backyard in Alaska. But I highly suggest if you are, um, you know, if you have a little bit more to spare, I would always recommend upgrading to Gold Star Service. Now, with Gold Star Service, you get, of course, the 360-degree panorama views here. Uh, these are floor ceiling glass domes. And uh, you also, of course, will be in a bi-level carriage, which gives you, again, a little more of an ultimate view uh, of this surrounding scenery on the train. You also, have, of course, have the op uh, observation viewing platform car, which is the only one of its kind here here within the United States. And that's where usually a lot of people will take pictures, videos to get that amazing scenery without the glare of the glass ceiling domes. You also, of course, get two complimentary alcohol beverages on your leg of each leg of your journey. You also have access to the Wilderness Cafe car where you can purchase snacks, meals, and beverages. Uh, and also, um, your meals are included on board the train as well with your, uh, when you upgrade to Gold Star service. You also uh, will be traveling and visiting Denali National Park, which when you visit Denali National Park, you get to be able to experience this wilderness, this vast frontier, uh, such as being able to see grizzly, grizzly bears, bald eagles, moose, deer, elk, so many great species of wildlife uh, with our uh, Denali Backcountry Tour. And with our Denali Backcountry Tour, you're actually going to see 50% more of the National Park. Uh, also, believe it or not, folks, I don't know if you know, but Denali National Park actually used to be named Mount McKinley National Park to one of our famous presidents. And of course, they just changed it back to Denali National Park a few years ago. So again, that's Alaska Rare in a nutshell, folks. Again, giving this amazing views, these amazing scenery, and you actually get to travel through more of Alaska than you could do with any type of cruise. Think about that. You get to see more of Alaska 
than by crews. Uh, this is again the Alaska Road and Ghost Star Service. Again, another great picture here in slide. This is what looks like the bar area. We get those two complimentary alcohol beverages. And the staff are really amazing. They really do a great job in customer service, as well as making sure that they point you through the right direction of where to look and what to see on your journey. Again, this is what the guides look like. You can see here they have the little blue lanyard you'll notice there. And they also have like a nice little walkie-talkie there just to kind of talk with each other. But this is where they'll show you where that wildlife is at. They'll spot out, of course, uh, all that for you. So you make sure that you can check that out. And this is what the Wilderness Cafe car looks like. Again, very nice and very, uh, very you know, luxurious here. Uh, this is where passengers can be able to enjoy a meal, especially if you're in Gold Star service. You do get your meals included with your uh, onboard stay on the train, uh, such as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this is what the cuisine looks like, folks. Again, very, very tasty, very enjoyable. And they offer a different wide variety of, uh, wide variety of options to choose from, as well as local cuisine, such as salmon, uh, caribou, stuff like that. Uh, but if you do have any type of dietary restrictions, please let us know in advance so we can make sure we let the train know. And then, of course, you have the opportunity to visit the northern part of the world, right? The Arctic Circle with our Arctic Circle tour of Alaska. This is another great sightseeing tour that we've been hearing from a lot of guests that are really enjoying this, that, that enjoy the sightseeing tour. Uh, so, again, this is something that I would highly suggest if you are interested in visiting this, you know, this northern part of the globe. And also visiting Fairbanks, if you travel during a certain time of the year, you can actually get to see the Northern Lights. We even actually have another package where it's called our Northern Lights package uh, from Anchorage to Fairbanks. And you can actually be able to do a uh, Northern Lights sightseeing tour with us as an option. Uh, but if you do want to check out the Northern Lights, it is during a certain time of the year. So be aware of that. And here's another package I want to talk about today, folks. This is our Denali National Park and Spencer Gl uh, Glacier with Alaska Road package. This one starts in Anchorage and ends in Anchorage. Uh, so again, it's easy for you to fly in and out of uh, from this journey with us. And you also get to do a day trip down to Spencer Glacier. And this is what it looks like, folks. This is Spencer Glacier. So again, you could be able to check this out on board with the Alaska Railroad. And we also offer another sightseeing tour where you could be able to explore the city of Anchorage. Again, that's with our Anchorage Trolley Tour. Now, the Anchorage Trolley Tour, folks, this is a great mode of transportation around the city, but what most people do is they use the, tr the trolley as, you know, kind of like a, a throughway coach service bus, or they use it as like a, a hop-on, hop-off bus to try to travel around the, the city, and then what they'll do is they use the, uh, the hop-on, hop of the trolley section, right, to be able to explore those popular sites that they want to check out. And also, you can take the Denali Star up from Anchorage to Denali and back again, right? This is a very scenic point. And there's also another train that you'll take with us, which is the Coastal Classic train, which takes you from uh, Anchorage down to Spencer Glacier and Whistle Stop. Again, you'll get to be able to check out Denali National Park and it's all amazing glory. And by the way, with the, um, the backcountry tour, that also uh, has you the opportunity to do uh, some sightseeing, get out some, do like, some light hiking. You'll even get to do some panning for gold. So hopefully maybe it'll strike it rich, right? <laughs> And then you, of course, take the Alaska Railroad uh, on the Denali Star back down to Anchorage before uh, you fly on home. Now, folks, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be crossing over the pond of the Atlantic Ocean, right, and head over to Switzerland, one of my favorite destinations to talk about. This is our Zermatt and St. Moritz package. This is a five-day journey, and it, uh, of course, starts and ends in Zurich. Uh, now, I will say, folks, this is a great option for you if you are doing this as a pre- or a post-river cruise experience, especially if you want to enjoy both the Glacier and the Bernina Express scenic trains. So this package does fi start at five, uh, five days, and the starting price is $1,249, and includes two nights hotel in Zermatt, two nights hotel accommodations in St. Moritz. You also get to do the Gornergrat Cog Railway Trade Experience, which goes up to the iconic Matterhorn Mountain. You also get to enjoy this panorama views on the, through the Swiss Alps on the Glacier Express, and you get to travel on the UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Bernina Express, to enjoy a true Italian pizza in the small town of Tarano. 
And again, folks, I actually done this trip myself very, uh, a few years ago, and this is actually one of my favorites because you get to see the, these amazing two ski resort towns, both Zermatt and St. Moritz. Now, Zermatt, of course, is this amazing you know, little village that's only accessible by train. You can't get uh, you can't go access to it by via motor coach or by plane. It's only by train, folks, because, of course, they've outlawed the combustible engine. And the reason for Zermatt being so famous is none other than the Matterhorn. And while you're visiting uh, in Zermatt, I always highly suggest upgrading your hotel room, especially with a Matterhorn view room. It's just definitely breathtaking. Uh, one of my favorite hotels I would always suggest people to stay at, which we do have offer, uh, is going to be the hotel. Uh, we have the Schweitzerhof, which is a great five-star hotel. Or we also offer a few other options as well that definitely give a Matterhorn view room. So, But the Schweitzerhof is my favorite. And the Gorner Grot. So the Gorner Grot is that cog railway train experience I was telling you about, folks. So if you've never traveled by train before within the United States, you'll note if you have, I guess I should say, if you have traveled by train within the United States, you'll notice that the gradient levels are usually between two to four to percent, uh, which goes, you know, which is a for us, it's almost a little bit of a steep incline as it climbs out gradually. But in Switzerland, because of the you know the rough mountain terrains, they have a cog attached to the train, almost like if you think about like a wheel, uh, a watch clog, uh, almost like 10 times larger than that, right? And they have this middle track where it, the cog latches onto as it's climbing through steep elevations. The Gorgra actually goes up between sometimes 35, 40, 45 percent gradients, again, steeper than what you'd experience in the U.S. And this is where a lot of great passengers, what they'll do is they'll actually uh, fold down the top window here. This is, what, uh, this is what I did. And you can get some really great breathtaking views of the Matterhorn without any glares of the window. And at the top of the Gorongrat, folks, this is where you could be able to do some sightseeing. Uh, there's a, a Matterhorn Museum. There's also, of course, the observatory area. They even have a restaurant and dining area. So if you want to grab a pretzel and beer, definitely worth it. Also, there's some light, light, uh, light hiking trails, and there's even a stop along the way where you can be able to get another great panorama view of the Matterhorn. And then after time exploring Zermatt, you'll then travel on the, the famous Glacier Express. Now, the Glacier Express was established back in 1930 to connect these two amazing ski resort towns. And it offers these panorama carriages. So again, you can make sure you get the amazing panorama views of the Swiss Alps. Now, it travels through from one side of Switzerland all the way to the other side. It's about a seven and a half hour journey. Uh, it's full length route from Zermatt to St. Moritz. And uh, there's you'll travel over, a, a, again, a, a wide variety of bridges and tunnels. Uh, the famous of the bridges is the Landwasser Viaduct to go through the Rhine Gorge, which is they call the Grand Canyon of Switzerland. You'll even go through the highest point, which is Andermatt, as you're traveling up to the highest peak there. But there's three different classes of services on board the train, which we'll talk about in just a second here. The first is going to be the excellence class. Now, the excellence class is truly the most ultimate luxury experience. Uh, again, it's only one by one seating configuration, so you're automatically going to have a window seat. You also have access to the Glacier Bar, which as you can see right here. This is where you'll get uh, all-inclusive alcoholic beverages. And if you see on the top here, folks, this is a turning compass. And this actually turns in the direction of the train, which is really cool. You also have your own dedicated concierge that's there to serve you from the moment you board the train to the moment you depart. And they want to make sure that everything is taken care of for you so you can, so again, you just get the ultimate journey experience on the board the train. Um, there's also, of course, a five course lunch uh, in, included in your, uh, in your fare with also a wine pairing as well. Now, folks, again, depending on your budget, maybe the excellence class maybe might not be for you, but if you're already sold on, I highly suggest it. Uh, you could also upgrade to the first class train. So the first class is give you two by one seating configuration. Again, a lot more, still a little bit more extra space than you would have in standard class, but you do also have the opportunity for you to purchase meals on board the train with all this fresh cuisine that's cooked on board and served right directly at your seat. Everything from the fine at China, the glassware, you'll notice even the glasses actually have a little bit of a tilt, and that's just due to, of course, the elevation that the, uh, that the uh, train would have to go through. So a regular glass would actually tip over and spill, but that tilt actually helps from doing that. And then also standard class. Now standard class is two by one seating, oh, sorry, two by two seating configuration here, as you can see. And you can also purchase meals on board the train and have a nice, lovely time. But this is what standard class looks like 
on board the train. Again, very spacious and very luxurious, but again, if you're looking for more space and more legroom, I would recommend upgrading at least to first class. If not, go the, uh, you know go all out and do the excellence class. And as I mentioned, the onboard dining experience is definitely worth it. Um, some people, of course, they'll bring on their own meals if they're dining and uh, if, they're, if they're traveling to standard or first class. But I would recommend purchasing meals on board the train because it is freshly cooked and prepared. And I also re recommend purchasing a Schweiss wine. You'll thank me later for it because the Schweiss wine can only be found in Switzerland. It's very difficult to get side outside of, of Switzerland. So definitely recommend at least buying a bottle or a glass. And then, of course, you'll arrive into St. Moritz. Now, St. Moritz is another ski resort town, right, in the Engadine Alpine region. And in uh, St. Moritz, you, of course, you'll notice that they have the beautiful of Lake St. Moritz, which a lot of times during the summer season, a lot of people are on their boats. They sometimes also have yacht races. Um, but during the winter season, the, uh, the lake is frozen over, and that's where people will ski. They'll sometimes do winter sports. Uh, but the famous thing that I have to suggest about St. Moritz is actually that it was held, uh, it held the 1948 winter olympics so people a lot of times would go over there to ski snowboard this is really that you know people's uh skiing paradise but the famous thing that we offer in this package is actually a day trip on the bernina express now from st Moritz to toronto is about a two and a half hour journey uh there and then two and a half hours back but you'll also get to explore other great uh, you know, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, such as the Obula Line, to go through both the Black Lake and the White Lake, which distributes different water por uh, portions throughout uh, the uh, continent of Europe. There's also two classes of services on board the train. They have standard class and first class rail. Uh, now, uh, meals are not included on board the train. However, you can purchase snacks and alcohol beverages, again, Make sure you do get this St. Moritz Schweiss wine. It's definitely locally sourced within the um, wineries there. Uh, so definitely worth checking out. And of course, after time exploring on the Bernina Express, you'll then head back up to Zurich. And uh, this is where you can actually add, either add on a night stay there or you can fly on home. Now, folks, the last package we're going to talk about today, this is going to be our Belmont Royal Scotsman. This is a, uh, one of my favorite journeys also to talk about besides Switzerland, uh, because this features one of the most beautiful luxury trains, in my opinion, in the world, besides the Venice Simplon Orient Express, of course. Uh, but this one actually starts in London. And uh, of course, it allows you to be able to explore this, this amazing uh, city of England. And you get to go up to Edinburgh, which is, of course, the main capital for our Scotland. And you get to be able to explore the Royal Scotsman tour. And we also have some sightseeing tours where you explore the Edinburgh Castle. You get to be able to check out the uh, you know, amazing fields of the Battle of Culloden, and all of that on the train journey. So, of course, your journey starts with us in London and as and in Edinburgh. And in London, you get to be able to explore the city's uh, amazing architectural wonders, such as Big Ben. You get to check out the Parliament Building, uh, Windsor Castle, uh, the, um, the Tower of London. There's so many great popular points of interest that we'll learn uh, that you will actually share a lot of great English history along the way. And then you get to check out Edinburgh, which is famous for the Edinburgh Castle. Uh, and then you also get to check out the Royal Scotsman. Now, this is a luxury train, folks, that is, you know, world renowned. These carriages are from the 1940s and 50s. So, again, they have been refurbished to their former glory. And uh, very, very different from the Venice Simplorian Express is that they also have their own private bath and shower included in each carriage. Now, you'll notice that a lot of passengers will actually dress up in traditional Scottish attire. Uh, kilts is what they'll wear sometimes. Uh, so a lot of men will sometimes either bring their own kilts or they'll rent a kilt. Uh, if you do want to rent a kilt, there's actually a location right next to uh, the train station where you can be able to rent that out before your journey. And the Royal Scotsman folks, very famous for everything from their whiskey tastings. You also get to have all of your meals included, both breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they're in the traditional Scottish style, including also afternoon tea, which you'll have on board the train. And what I mean by that traditional dining experience is that you'll actually be sitting in elongated tables where passengers will sit around and enjoy a nice cuisine that's cooked on board the train. Everything is freshly caught and cooked and prepared on board. Uh, everything from lobster, they have, of course, Atlanta salmon they even have of course lamb uh, anything any type of cuisine you can think of everything's cooked uh, on board with the Michelin star chefs again this is what the uh, actually the poached uh, Atlantic salmon looks like it was absolutely to die for everything was just mouth-watering melted in your mouth uh, so definitely yeah get that if you're on board the train 
and they actually do have offer uh, several different cabin accommodations on board. Uh, the Royal Scotsman does have a double cabin, has a twin cabin, and even a cabin suite. So if you're traveling with, you know, let's say a, a two couples or maybe it's with a family, you may want to upgrade to the cabin suite. But this is what the double cabin looks like during the night. As you can see here, folks, it does fit two passengers on board with the double cabin. They even also offer an, offer an option for a single cabin. So if you're traveling as a solo passenger and want to experience this luxury train, you could definitely also check out the single cabin option. This is what the twin cabin looks like. Again, great option for those passengers who are traveling together uh, as either, you know, as husband and wife or maybe, uh, you know, uh, mother and daughter or whatever it may be. Uh, you can also do the twin cabin option. As I mentioned, folks, all of the, the um, those amenities that are included in your cabin, uh, such as a private bathroom and shower, you also, have, of course, uh, you know, soaps, towels, all of that will be served to you. But the main hub where everyone really socializes is at is actually going to be in the, the lounge car. And actually, at the end of the lounge car, there's an observation, observation viewing platform area, really getting those breathtaking views of the Scottish Highlands. Again, very great area to relax in. And this is also where people can be able to check out the bar car and get uh, you know, complimentary alcohol beverages, which is included in their fare. Uh, everything from whiskey to different types of cocktails, all of them served on board the train. And that's pretty much it, folks, for all of our wonderful rail vacation destinations we talked about today, right? We talked about great uh, destinations in Scotland, Switzerland, Alaska, all by rail. So, again, there's a lot of great destinations you could travel to, everything from, you know, uh, you know pre, uh, sorry, pre and post cruise options to even luxury train options. But our upcoming webinars will be featuring, uh, which we'll have next week, will be on May 11th, cruise extensions, more options to come, right, for 2021 into 2022. May 18th, we'll talk about the five best scenic trains in Switzerland. You're definitely, you're definitely not going to want to miss out on that one because it's definitely going to talk more about the Glacier Express, the Bernina Express. We'll even talk about the Gotthard and the Golden Pass scenic trains. But folks, I have one more question for you today. And my question is, what destinations are you considering for your next vacation? So if you don't mind with uh, sharing with me in the questions box, what destinations you're considering for your next vacation, I would love to know. Either maybe before this year or for possibly for 2022, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, Helen actually mentioned Africa. Great. Alaska. Thank you, Gloria. Canada Luxury Train Packages for Christopher. Thank you so much. Great. Uh, coast to coast in the USA, Australia, New Zealand. Wonderful. Keep them coming, folks. Africa and South America, Europe, Africa, if they're over open. Great. Uh, Churchill, Manitoba. Great. Wonderful. Wow, we got a lot of great options here. Oh, uh, the Orient Express, the Royal Scotsman. Wonderful. Africa, Napa Valley. Wow. The southern coast of the USA. Okay, great, folks. Well, thank you so much. And as you continue pouring your responses here, just as a reminder, we have, of course, our Pick Your Perk promotion. This is where you can call, this is where you could be able to upgrade to, on your uh, rail vacation with us. So you can upgrade those trade tickets, right? Uh, or even upgrade to those private sleeping accommodations on those overnight journeys. You can upgrade your hotel from a three to a four or even a five star hotel. Upgrade your room hotel category to, let's say, a standard room to a room with a view. Extend your stay for a few more nights or even add on additional activities as well. So now I'm going to take this time, folks, to be able to answer any questions you may have. Uh, so I'm going to open up my questions box here. In the meantime, this is our contact details below. So if you are ready to start planning your next dream vacation, make sure you do call our rail experts today at 1-888-829-3040. Again, that's one 829 3040 our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can also check us out at www.railbookers.com. All right, let's take some time to be able to answer some questions. Uh, see, so Christopher Coyle asks, uh, how do we request Rail Bookers digital brochure? That's a great question, Christopher. So actually, uh, you can actually go online and request our digital brochures, and they can actually be automatically uh, downloadable on your smart device or laptop or computer. Let's see here. Uh, Paul Luster asked, can, I, uh, can you send me a link to this presentation? I want to share this with my son and daughter. Absolutely. So by the way, Paul, at the end of today's webinar, this is a recorded session. So you will receive a link of this webinar uh, that you can be able to share with family and friends. Great question. All right. Let's see. 
Ah, Ian Turner asks, who is the best contact to book for uh, to book rail within the USA if I'm in the UK? That's a great question. Uh, so I can actually give you our rail bookers UK number if you like. Let me just get that for you here. And that's where you get a call for rail bookers UK uh, there, Ian. Okay, let me give you that number. That phone number is going to be uh, plus four four. Two zero three seven eight zero quadruple two. Again, that's plus four four two zero three seven eight zero two 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 two. You're very welcome. All right. Folks, if there's any other questions, please take this time to answer any questions. You could type any questions that you have in the questionnaire box. I'd love to be able to answer any questions or be able to make any suggestions or even recommendations for your next dream vacation. So if you have any questions, please feel free to type them out in this at this time. All right. Looks like we don't have any other questions, which is okay. I, that makes it seem like that I've done my job. <laughs> well, folks, I just want to say this is the end of the line. I hope all of you have a wonderful and train-tastic day and hope to see some of you all on the rails in the near future. But take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.